this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to take these Dollar Tree clear plastic photo frames and we're going to turn them into some notepad holders. So let's get started. This is a great gift idea, and I had seen um, plenty of uh, inspiration on Pinterest, but I also received one of these as a gift, and I'll show you that um, towards the end of this video. This is a great way to use up some of your papers. And so I thought I'd go with these two colors. I had so much fun trying to decide which papers to use. I'm going to be decorating them with these little magnets. And so these are so adorable, and I thought this would be a nice way to kind of add something else to the top. But you can make your own topper. I saw some decorated with flowers and ribbon, so you can do that too. Now, one of the first things you want to do, of course, is remove this. And I'm going to use that so that I can cut out the size so I can stick my decorative paper in there. And there is a light plastic over this and I, I actually would have missed this and so you want to go ahead and pull that off and it just goes all the way around it so I already removed it from this one okay so let's put this aside for a little bit and don't worry I will list all the supplies that you need so I'm going to use this this is a four by six and I'm going to use this to cut out my decorative paper. I'm not going to trace it or anything. I think I should be good cutting it. Okay, so easy. And this, these would make some adorable uh, teacher gifts or just gifts for, for anyone really. Because everyone needs to jot down little notes. Okay, let's cut that off. So you see how easy that was? And of course I got something to add to my stash here, my scraps. Okay, so I wanted this one to match up with this. I'll just take that out the plastic. And all of this is from Dollar Tree, so you can make a gift on a budget. And there are a ton of tutorials on making these and you just the nice thing is you can just be creative and make it however you want okay and this one has a little bit of pink in it so I just match it up with this so I think that's gonna look so cute so look how quick and easy that goes and all you're gonna do is slide your paper in here just like that so you've already transformed Sorry about that glare on there. Got my light on. So, pretty easy, right? All right. So now the back of this, it to me it's not thick enough for when I want when I want to put it on here. So, I'm going to put one of these little cardboard. This is like a rice uh, packaging, but you could use cereal box and I'm just going to stick it on the back here just to give it a little bit more substance. And everyone has a different style of doing this. You just have to find out how you want to do it. And just do what works for you. Yes, I just want this to have a little bit of a backing on it. So I had already traced this out. That way it'll be a little bit more sturdier when I mount it on here. Okay, let's do the other one. But this is one of those things you can make a bunch of these and personalize them. If you want to put uh, someone's name on it, you could do that too. Okay, and I am loving this so far. Now these little uh, wood bar magnets I found at the uh, near the cash register at Dollar Tree and I just thought they were so cute so if you are up by that cash register area um, look over there because you find a lot of little gems and things that you can you can decorate with alright so let's see what I want to do with this 
I'm going to be using. I feel like I need to have something. Just add a little bling to it. Just a little bit here. And so let's see how I'm going to do that. Maybe with my hot glue gun. Just a little bit of bling on there. And I already measured it so that it would um it would fit right across there just to add a little bit of color on there. Okay, let's give that a little bit of time to dry. And so you see how you can just kind of do your own thing on these? And maybe a little bit on the top also. Okay, and I'm using my glue gun uh, has Gorilla Glue, so that's what I'm using to do this. I use the Gorilla Glue sticks to get a really good um, firm hold on these. But I think this is light enough where you can just use uh, some regular stuff too. You can use regular glue sticks as well. Oh, and a little bit off there, let's see. Okay, and I'm using this on a high heat setting, so you want to kind of make sure that you've got this attached real good but for on the first try because it will stick pretty quickly. Okay, so we've got something like this on there. So that's the way you can add bling to it. Okay, let's go ahead and decorate this other topper. These were some shells um, that came in a pack from Dollar Tree and they had like the mini sh shells in there. So I thought it would be nice to just kind of just add a shell to the side there. And I'm just gonna put it on this flat side, put a little bit of glue there. And just stick it right on, just to have a little enhancement and then maybe a somewhat tiny spot of glue there and add a little heart right there. And just turn that around. And if I use too much glue, I could always clean that up, but that's fine. I'll go back and clean that up. So now I've got a nice little heart and a shell on there like that. Super cute. And then all I got to do now is just put my toppers on. I told you this was pretty easy. just like that and I'm just going to add some hot glue on here and I'm I'm using the um, that super glue so this will hold really well on here okay and that's on pretty secure there and then all I have to do is put my notepad on just like that. And so I'm just gonna hot glue it right onto this. Um, if you want, you can get these uh, fastener dots and you can put the adhesive fasteners on the back of these. But I'm just gonna hot glue it. I'm keeping it simple. So if you wanna just use the um, fasteners, just go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to make sure I adhere that. And that backing really, really helps. It gives it a nice strong hold on there. And so there you go. Look how cute that is. Let's put that one aside and then do this other one. I love crafts like this because they're so simple and easy to do. And you can make a bunch of them all unique and different. Imagine if you have to do a teacher gift and um, you have several teachers in a room or your uh, child has several teachers. This is a perfect gift. 
and quite economical. And you could personalize it too. And so to me, the hot glue gun makes it go faster. And so I'm loving that. And look how cute that is. I am loving that. And so you can add whatever you want. I saw people put flowers and pretty ribbon on there. Let me show you the one that my friend Debbie sent to me in Happy Mail. Look how cute this is. And she did it. Let me show you how this stands up. She did it like this and used a smaller notepad. So just another idea. And then she put a ribbon, a really fun um, thin ribbon around it. And she put a cute little button. It's like a felt button. And I think that's so adorable. And so the, you can do it with the smaller frames too. And so I hope this idea helped you. Um, I hope it inspired you. And you can make this for a friend. Um, you can make this for a teacher, someone that you want to just, a co-worker. I think this will make nice co-worker gifts. So I hope this inspired you. Don't forget, forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you real soon. And don't forget to go to Pinterest because Pinterest has a lot of these um, holders uh, ideas if you need inspiration. Bye.